All right, should we light this candle? Are we ready to go? Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you so much uh, for all of the business that you've given us and all, and all that uh, hopefully we'll, we'll do together um, going forward. We, somebody asked me last night how we did it, you know, and, and uh, how did you get from nothing to, to where you're at? And I think, I think I know that, um, you know, we did it by, you know, having a, an absolute commitment uh, to excellence, a commitment to, to being on the cutting edge and doing things uh, the right way for the right reason. Self-funding the facts, cost containment, healthcare reform, very general stuff. You'll find we'll talk about some of the specifics under those categories. So self-funding the facts, all right? What do we know? You've already heard uh, earlier in the day about the savings you're enjoying with Cyprus in particular, which is outstanding, I mean, exceptional. But in general, uh, self-funded plans not only have been saving money when compared to fully insured options, uh, but self-funding itself is growing as an industry. So it's really for your more common conditions, the colds and flus, uh, bronchitis, sinus infections, those sorts of conditions. And oftentimes members are chronically getting those situations and they know what they're going to need. Uh, they're going to need an antibiotic to knock it out, maybe some amoxicillin, but they have to still take time off from work, go in and see a doctor just to get the script they knew they needed. So it's much more convenient and they get treated much faster and much, much less expensive. I do like to point out the stat that I've got in the blue box. Um, it was a study done by the Wellness Council of America that said 70% of all in-office uh, visits could have been handled by a phone call. So I think that's that's pretty compelling. Hearing around Cypress University and the, and the, uh, the whole intent on everything around quality, patient engagement, transparency and pricing. So there's a lot of fit that I think we're, we're the direction that we're going on the Bridge Health side. We do offer significant benefit upgrades. Your plan document in a self-funded groups plan is normally one to two paragraphs devoted to transplants. Ours is 24 pages long of upgrade benefits. Healthcare reform actually required the HHS and DOL to go and perform a report, a study on self-funding. Uh, the goal, we thought, was to prove that self-funding is not financially viable, that if employers self-fund, they're going to end up leaving all their employees high and dry, uh, and that healthcare reform needs to be crafted in such a way to eliminate self-funding. And what these government agencies ended up coming back reporting is that not only is self-funding viable, it's actually better in a lot of ways than full insurance. But the report went on to say most employers when it comes to day-to-day -day claims, even though they have the authority to make the final decision, more often than not rely on the judgment of a third-party administrator, TPA like Cyprus, who is far more objective and has far less conflict of interest than a fully funded carrier because the TPA doesn't pay the claims with their own money. They have that degree of separation. And also I want to thank Tom and his staff for doing this event. Let's give them a hand. It has been fabulous. <laughs>